everybody had a good weekend. We'll wait about one more minute before we get started. Good morning, Liz. Good morning, Sherry. Look at my new, look at my backdrop, guys. I don't have to look at my ugly oil tanks anymore. So official. I should have made it green so I could be in like different places while we're working out. All right, this morning we have a um, full body blast, full body workout. Uh, we'll go through three different blocks of work. We'll hit lower body, upper body, we'll do a little core. We'll start with a quick warm up. We'll work for about 45 seconds to a minute on each move, just, to, just depending on the move. Um, that's, that's pretty much all you need to know. Have a mat. We will get down on the ground, do a couple of core glute moves. Um, if you have dumbbells, I will be using eights and tens, maybe just the eights, we'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling this morning. And I think that's it. Okay? Okay. All right, let's get started. Lateral lunge, step out, and just reach for that toe. 
long warm up this morning. It's Monday morning. Get ourselves ready for a good week. All right, stand it up. Big arm face to the back. Open up the chest. Open up all the fingers. And take it to the front. Now, if you want to keep 
tension in those shoulders the whole time. Don't let those dumbbells drop below your chin until you're at that bottom. All right, 30 seconds to go.
press and lift. Elbows stay in nice and tight. Core is nice and tight. Ooh, these are hard. Fifteen seconds. Final five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Get your mat and your dumbbell. We're going to do a single leg glute raise. We're also going to do a chest press. We're going to start with the press. So, if we get ourselves set up, one heel down, one leg up. You're going to press and then lift. Press and lift. 30 and 30. So, stay on one side and then we'll switch. Three, two, one. Here we go. Press. All right, so core is pulling in the whole time. When you lift, you press in that heel that's on the ground. 10 more seconds on this side, and we switch. Three, two, give me one more lift. Switch your feet right away, go. Press and lift. Fifteen more seconds. Keep pulling nice and tight. We got five, four, three, two, one more lift and rest. All right, get those dumbbells. Last move in this block. We're gonna do a reverse crunch, but we're gonna try to twist it a little bit at the top. Stick those hands underneath your booty. Make a little diamond. And put it right under your tailbone. So, if you're just going to reverse crunch, it looks like this. Okay? We think kick the ceiling. But if you want to try on the lift, try to twist those hips a little bit. And we'll take more into the obliques. Okay? One minute. Three, two, one. Here we go. Lift and twist. Ooh, that sounded pretty. So knees are a little bit bent. And I want you to think more of a lift than a swing of the legs. So here on the way down, I'm resisting. And then when my feet come just over my hips, I'm lifting straight up towards the ceiling. It's not this. It's straight up. 15 seconds. We work for five, four, three, two. Give me one more. Okay. One more block. Ooh, sweating, okay. Good. Four more moves, and we're done. What are we doing now? Sumo deadlift, we're gonna hold it at the bottom, and we're gonna alternate hammer curl. Let's talk about the sumo deadlift real quick, nice wide stance. This isn't just a squat or just a deadlift, it's a little combination of both, so hips go back. Knees come out, flat back at the bottom. We're gonna alternate hammer curl. Stand and squeeze. What's our deadlifting rule? Nipples forward. Yes. And yes. Three, two, one. Here we go. Hips go back. Alternate the hammer curl. Stand and squeeze. Go again. If you're looking at the ground, Pick up your head, look 
look at me. Hips go back, but we really force that chest to stay forward. Down here at the bottom, all the tension should be in your glutes and your hamstrings. If you're feeling it in the quads, you may be pushing too much onto the toes. So sink back into those heels. Don't forget about the core. 15 more seconds. All right, we're gonna do one more. Here we go, send them back. Last one. Okay, shake them out. Okay guys, this next one is hard. We are going to do a combination lunge, hinge, row. So you're gonna start in a stationary lunge. We're gonna go straight down, up, this regular lunge. But then I want you to hinge over that front leg and we're gonna row the arms. So I'm gonna face the side for this so you guys can see the difference in my back. I go straight in my spine for the lunge and then I'm gonna hinge over that front leg for the row. Okay? 30 and 30. Maybe. Maybe a little more. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Straight down. Hinge. Big squeeze the shoulder blades on that row. Reset and go. Down. Hinge. Row. Stand. Same idea in this hinge here, guys. Chest stays up. Feel lots of tension on that front leg. Hamstring, glutes, little quad. And then a big squeeze in the back for that row. Almost there. Let's do two more. Down. Hinge. Row. Last one. Okay. Shake it out. Set up for the other side. Three, two, one. There we go. Lunge. Hinge. Pull it in row. One side may feel a little tighter than the other. That's totally okay. We all have a dominant side. Just go at your own pace. If we're still just working on stationary lunges, be near a wall or something that you can hold for balance. Almost there. Two more on this side. There we go. Down. Inch. Last one. Down. Hinge, row, and rest. Woo! Two more. We're going to do a thruster with a single arm punch. Front rack position. We squat at the top. We twist and press to the diagonal, to the corner. Yes. One minute of work. Three, two, one. Here we go. Just two more moves, and you guys are done. Don't forget about that belly. Really brace when you twist and turn. We're pushing overhead, and we're cranking on that spine. We need to pull in those core muscles. Protect that low back. Keep the elbows high in the squat. 15 seconds. One more each side. Here we go. Here's one. One. And rest. All right. Get your mat. Final move. No, no burnout today, no crazy burpee work, I promise. 
but we are going to end with a little glute core burner. So, you're going to try to get in this figure four. I don't know if you can see that. I took one leg, I crossed it over the other knee. And what we're going to do is one raise. So we raise for a glute raise. And then I want you to pick up the legs and crunch for a figure four crunch. We'll stay on one side and then we'll switch to the other. So you go one glute raise, one crunch. Just try it. Three, two, one. There we go. One raise. Lift the legs and crunch. Don't crush this move. We're going to work for a minute and then switch. Take those hands behind your head, support the neck, but don't crank on it. So head is down for the raise, we lift those shoulder blades for the crunch. About 20 more seconds and we'll switch sides. Ooh, I like this one. Get a stretch in my hips. Still firing up that glute. Almost there, guys. Two more on this side. Last one. And let's switch right away. Here we go. Lift. Crunch. Final move right here. And you guys will be good to go. Monday. Stay home. Wash your filthy hands. Maybe take a shower. And that's it. I will see you guys on Wednesday morning, 6 o'clock. I don't know what we're going to do, but we'll do something. See you then. How do I stop this? Okay, here we go. Bye.